Hi everyone and thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial. So here in this lecture, I am going to tell you how you can make your domain you have purchased on Hostinger or GoDaddy or any other website to your Ubuntu server or any kind of server that you have deployed on cloud or on site. Right. So that is what we are going to talk about in this lecture. I'm going to uh, give you a very uh, you know short journey of what I did for making the server or you can say the Django application I have on this particular Ubuntu server accessible on this domain right so if you see here I, I can access it right now how it is happening that is what I'm going to brief you about now what happens is when you purchase a domain so by default uh, the uh, DNS right domain name service or the person or the website from where you have purchased the domain it offers you a default website right for that particular domain so that when you run when you access it on browser you can see something right it should, it should not be a blank page so what happens is whatever files and whatever things uh, are there for that particular website they bind it to your domain using these entries over here now how you will come on this page that is what i will i would like to help you guys first with. so here what you have to do is once you come on hostinger okay you have to come on this domains name page fine so here you will get to see all the domains that you have purchased now because uh, i have linked i have to link my Ubuntu server with this domain so I need to come here on manage for that particular domain and here I will see all the DNS entries for this domain okay now what all things you have to add here and what all things you have to delete here that is what I would like to help you guys with so there is one thing called www so this is something which you will have to see first let me tell you first what all things I deleted, right, which were already there and what all things I added then so as to make my uh, domain point to that Ubuntu server. So earlier it was like this, right, type A name FTP. So there was an entry over here in this hosting uh, with these details. So I, what I did is I deleted this and I created a new entry for type A. Are you able to see over here? Right, so this is the entry which I created first. So for A at the rate, already there was an entry, right, which was pointing to this uh, domain. I deleted that and I created a fresh entry. Now what all things are there in this entry? Let me show it to you. So if you if I come on edit, you'll be able to see everything over here. So type is A name at the rate points to this. Right, so if you see here, this is the server which I have with me right now. And now, uh, you know, I have mentioned the IP address of the server over here under points two. And TTL, you can keep it 300 also, right? But for now, but because by default it was 14400 for this particular domain, so I kept it like this only. I didn't touch it. Uh, then I did an update. Fine. You can uh, either do like this, you know, you can delete the entry, existing entry, and then you can uh, add a new one, or you can simply come on edit and then edit the details. So these are the two ways you can add the details. Fine. Uh, adding the details can be done from here also. Okay. So you can uh, simply enter the IP address of your server and then TTL and then do this add record. Now, what is the second thing? Uh, we deleted so the second thing is CNAME so if you see here there was uh, a website which was uh, you know which the domain was targeting on www so that is another thing which I changed now the entry is like mm, this uh, let me show it to you once okay CNAME www now you see this uh, IP address of my Ubuntu server. So now this is what I have over here 
in place of this target okay let me show the complete details to you so c name then www then we have the target ip address and finally we have the ttl and this is what this is the second thing that you have to do right c name entry under www what else i have done let me see okay that's it i think that's what i did fine there was one entry which i deleted also so if you see some other ip address anywhere okay you can simply delete that entry fine and you can recreate that particular entry by entering the ip address of your ubuntu server okay once you are done with all this your work on ubuntu server your work on hostinger is complete now you have to come to ubuntu server where you have your uh, you know nginx installed fine let me show it to you where it is for me so where etc okay so you will find the nginx folder under inside etc named folder now there you will here you will find a folder called sites available okay and here if you'll open this chatbot you'll see the configuration i've set for my django project okay so uh, what i've done here is i have binded my domain with the ubuntu server using this okay so i'm telling my ubuntu server that when this thing will be accessed you have to go and serve it okay you have to go and serve this page same thing i am doing for this with this also right so you can simply add this line over here if you know about how uh, a django project is hosted on ubuntu then you must be knowing about this particular file as well okay so you have to simply add it over here and once you are done with that when you will try to access the application on the domain you will be able to do it not on https but yes initially you'll have to uh, you know access it on http once you're done with installing the ssl certificate and everything you'll be able to access it on https also right so that's a short that's a uh, you know way you can you can make your hostinger or any domain point to your server i think uh, uh, you have understood the whole process if you have any queries you can let me know about it in the description section below i would be happy to help you guys out this is it from my side in this lecture bye bye take care and have a great great day ahead guys